What's going on guys? PXCam20 back again with a brand new video. You already know what time it is. It's a brand new week of daily race as we are here at Interlagos in the grade 4 cars. We are starting second for this race as this is one of the first races I've done here at Interlagos. We get a pretty good qualifying uh, spot. As you can see we got a 138.7. But uh, before we jump into the video, if you guys haven't yet, we're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you guys really enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video as it really helps us out a lot. Anyways, jumping into the race now, we are starting in second right behind the Alpha. And uh, we try to catch up to him as we jump into turn number one now. Break as late as we can going into turn number one. We actually outbreak ourselves. Luckily, we don't make contact with the Alpha. Gets a little loose coming out of turn number one, but we give him the spot as uh, we, we made the mistake there. And uh, basically nothing else happens throughout the race as we jump into lap number nine. We try to make a move on the inside here. We actually make a little bit of contact with him as we head down the straightaway, leading us into turn number one. And we get a one second penalty. So already penalty system hurting us as we uh, jump into lap number 10. We serve our one second penalty. And uh, luckily the Brazilian goes a little bit out wide and into that turn. And he actually gets a 1.5 second penalty. So now all we have to do is just stay right behind him. And uh, we should be able to get first as we do, jumping into the final lap, onto the final corner. We're able to get first place for this race as I do a little bit of showboating. Yes, I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys don't like me doing the showboating, but we get our 59th victory here. So one more, and we get our 60th victory as we are now going to jump into our second race. So this second race was going to be a little bit more uh, interesting. As we are starting in 19th, I wanted to do a last two wherever challenge, hopefully podium, but here at Brazil, it's a very, very difficult uh, thing to do as um, there's just a lot of spread out on the start. And on top of that, it's really difficult to pass here as there's a lot of long sweeping turns. So we're just going to try to work our way up as much as we can as we jump into lap number one. We're already off to a bad start as we overdrive turn number one and uh, we are trying to now catch up to the Brazilian in 18th place. As we fast forward here, we're moving up a little bit, catching up to him and staying right behind him. So head into this left-hander here. You see there's a car that actually goes out wide, spins out, and that gives us one place. So we're up to 18th. Coming into the right-hander here, we make a move on the inside of the Brazilian, break as late as we can, and we try to force the move here. We're actually able to do so. So we make, we make enough, another place here. So now we're up to 17. So not too bad uh, of a start as we uh, gain two positions coming to the end of lap number one. So coming towards the end of lap number one, we head towards the final turn. And uh, we try to catch up to the 16th place car as uh, we are unable to on the straight. Jumping into lap number two, we're heading to turn number one. But you see right there, look ahead of us. Those two cars are starting to fight with each other. As there's a car that goes out very, very wide into the Astro, tries to make a move back into the track, forces himself onto the track, hits 15th, goes out wide, and the Brazilian is stuck on the grass, so we gain two positions on the straightaway, so making our way up through the field pretty, pretty easily. As uh, you see, 13th actually cuts uh, the Majane off, and we actually get punted from behind, so now we're in 15th position here as we head into turn number 7 and 8. We're trying to keep it on the inside here as we're going to try to make a move onto the right-hander turn. As we're just going to turn into the left, we're going to be on the outside, make a little bit of contact, but not too much as we head out of turn number nine. And we actually get pushed out wide, keep it on the throttle. Luckily, we don't run into anybody else as we try to make another move heading into turn number 11. And uh, we lose a position there. Actually, we lose two positions as uh, we didn't get a good exit coming off that turn. So coming out of turn number 13, we actually gain another position as we head into 15th and we're gonna go right behind the Evo ahead of us as we head down the straightaway so coming into lap number three as we're heading into turn number eight and nine we're trying to make a move on the Evo as you can see we're trying to get onto the inside that's gonna lead us into the outside here he gets a really bad exit as we come out and uh, he actually forces himself into the inside of the American the Brazilian takes out the American and we able to uh, capitalize on that and gain the position. So now we're up to 14th as we're trying to make a move on the evil heading down the straightaway. That's going to lead us into turn number one. We try to make a move on the outside, try to pinch him into the inside, but he is able to hold his position and we are unable to make the overtake. So jumping into lap number five, the Ferrari actually gets challenged by the evil and they both make contact as the Ferrari goes out wide. We try to make a, a move on the inside, but we back out of that as we weren't going to be able to go two by two down turn number three. 
Now, ahead of us, the two evils are starting to fight with each other. Actually, the evil and the, uh, the Maz, I believe. As you can see, he's already had issues with cars ahead of, um, before the race, so, uh, or early in the race. So we're going to keep our eye on him and just be very cautious when we uh, catch up to him. Coming into turn number eight now, you see the evil actually punts out the Mazda. And we are able to capitalize on that. And we make our move up to 13th as the Ferrari goes wide into turn number nine. We try to make a move on the inside. And we're able to do so as we're going to try to break as late as we can. Coming into turn number 11, we do so. But look at what happens right here. The Mazda actually tries to take out the Evo. And uh, that was very, very close for us as he almost took us out. Now, coming into this front straightaway, we're trying to make a move on the Evo here that's been having issues with other cars. He actually pushes us down, and we actually outbreak ourselves because of that. Missed the breaking point. Going to turn number one on the Astro Turf, heading into turn number two. And uh, because of doing so, we actually gain a one second penalty. So we got a one second penalty because we try to avoid contact and we miss the turn. As uh, we get, very, I got very mad here right here because I kind of lost my patience with the Evo. So I've kind of blocked him heading into turn number four. He bumps into us as we try to keep it onto the inside, coming out of turn number four, heading into turn number five. You see the evil still right behind us as the car ahead of us actually has a penalty. We're trying to keep it as pinched as we can. Going into turn number six, we actually outbreak ourselves, go a little too wide as we head into turn number seven. And uh, now us and the evil go side by side as he, we make a little bit of contact. We let the evil go through as we try to make a cutback heading into turn number eight and nine. We try to make a move on the outside there, and he actually covers his spot well, so we're unable to do so as we uh, jump a little forward into the lap now. Jumping into the end of lap number six, we're trying to make a move on the inside again, but we actually still went dumb and we go to the outside. We're trying to make a move on the outside, break as late as we can. And then heading into turn number one, we are able to uh, make the overtake done as we're gonna have to serve our penalty now as we head into turn number three. Coming into turn number three, you see on the radar that the Evo is still right behind us, but he actually gets bumped out from another car. So if they're going two by two right behind us as we head into the penalty zone, Coming to the penalty zone now, we're going to have to serve our penalty. We lose two positions there as we lose our position to the Alpha and the, uh, the Evo right ahead of us. We try to catch up to them as best as we can as the Evo gets pushed out wide a little bit. We try to make a move on the inside. We force our way down there and we're going to be on the outside coming into turn number six as we break as late as we can. And actually, we don't. We actually break early as we try to make a cutback, but we actually don't have the momentum to make a cutback on the Evo as uh, he uh, is able to hold the spot. Coming to the end of lap number seven, we're going to try to make a move an identical, an identical move as the prior two laps. As we try to make a move on the outside, he actually makes contact with us as we head into turn number one. And he actually puts us out again, so we make two contact heading into turn number one. As we try to keep it clean, getting out of turn number two and into turn number three, we're able to make the position up now. And we're able to hold our spot as we head into turn number four. Now, coming into turn number seven and eight, we go a little bit wide again, so it's almost a repeat of last lap, except he pushes us out wide, but I think it's because he was fighting with 11th place, so I can't get too uh, mad about that as we try to make a cutback now. As we lose two positions heading into turn number nine, we actually uh, uh, shift a little too early, and we saw right there that we over the engine. So, coming into the end of lap number eight, we're trying to make a move on the outside again of the Evo. And hopefully he doesn't make contact with us as we break very, very late again. Heading into turn number one, he actually outbreaks himself and pushes us out wide. And we get sent out to the Astro Turf, so as we try to catch up to him as we come into turn number three. And uh, we lose a ton of time there as we are able to capitalize on that and get back to him. Going to uh, the end of lap number nine, we try to make a move on the inside, but he forces his uh, car down there. Blocks us as we try to make a good exit onto the straightaway and we actually do so so we're up to 12th now as we head into lap number 10 breaking right before the 50 meter board we actually get taken out by the evo he pushes us out wide and we get a one second penalty so at this point i was done with the evo so i just gave him a little tap pushed him out wide and he tried to brake check us as i was just done with it I, I i could not deal racing with that guy i just i don't know if it was me but i just lost all my patience with that guy as we come into the final lap we get a 14th position, so very, very bad race for us as we started in last. Only was able to go up to 14th as I was trying to at least get to the top 10. But I, again, I just lost my patience with that Evo. I mean, I don't know if he races like that often, but it's just, it gets frustrating when you're getting pushed out wide and getting 
making contact like that, especially on the straightaway heading to a turn. So um, we get a 14th position. I'm sorry you guys had to see me drive like that. I usually don't really drive like that if you guys are new to my channel. But if you guys really enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the videos. It really helps out the channel. And uh, again, if you guys want to check out any other videos, check them out um, down below. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.